Alright guys, and I'm back 46 minutes, and I have no idea how much I'm going to have to cut out yet. Um, I apologize. Oh, what? Oops. Yeah, sorry, I apologize about that. Yeah, I apologize for not showing off the wyvern. If it's still there, I'll fight it just for lulls. If it's not, well, you, you won't get to see me fight it. Alright, but let's go back to the... Did we ever get an item from the Moas? I don't think we ever did. I'm gonna try again to get an item from it. I'll be right back if I don't get one. Actually, okay. Now what I mean to say is, I'll meet you up to the entrance of the seventh floor if I don't get it. So, and I'll cut out the journeys there too. So. Okay, guys, and we're back at the entrance to the seventh floor. I am like two experience away from the level up. Twenty-six, whatever. Um you may notice on my map I killed a ton of FOEs and explored that top right corner. And well I did that just because they were in the way. So let's check out that blank spot on this floor too. I'm gonna try to avoid leaving blank spots when I can. It seems like those FOEs are... Oh, wait, never mind. I can wait five days. Plus, of course, probably two more days before then, too, so whatever. Well, we have, like, no TP. That sucks. Alright. probably pick up the scavenge scale so we can actually get the drops from the FOEs, but that will be for later. So relaxing, and then we get the extra percent right here. Okay. So let's take our map tiny or big or whatever. I don't know how to properly describe that. It looks like it kind of loops around like this. Well, let's take it out. Assassin again. So we want to boost and crush because it'll only improve the damage a little bit. Um, sure. Let's go with boosted immunize. I normally wouldn't do this, but I have a boost. Might as well use boost and fire and relaxing. And we took the like seven damage. Not even half our health.
would have to wait another round. So we got a toxic barb, and we didn't have that before, so... Yeah, it's dead end here, but it was worth it for the barb. I might just run back up and save real quick, too, because... Nah, I think I'll just continue on. I did kind of cheese the game with that game. Seed. Don't really care for those. And damage tiles. Don't really care for those either. Ouch. Yeah, that damage can really pile on after a while. And we don't even have a peppy for a salve. Hmm. Probably gonna have to use relaxing for a round. Perfect. Or not. I don't like any of these. Fire, right? Oh, well, let's ice this and put up a relaxing because we need it. Clear and take it out. Okay, do slow chaos. Relaxing doesn't seem to restore that much, but it is a really good ability. As long as you're willing to take the time for it to be good. Alright. Man, I haven't really done much, and I'm 20 minutes into the recording. My hell. Encounter. Oh, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, it is still there. That is surprising, actually. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll meet you in front of its nest. I'm going to actually go save the game really quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys! I'm in front of the Wyvern Slayer, and I'll show you why you shouldn't fight this thing yet. Of course, we get into a regular encounter before we get there. Perfect. And if I can, I'd like to attack it from behind. So... And I'm pretty sure you know how that'll be done. But if you get attack enemies from behind, um, you can get a preemptive attack on them. And it even has its own music too. Preemptive attack. So, boost. Let's see if we can silence it. Boost. Defender. Put up immunize for now. I think it's weak to ice. Boost. And since we mostly need our... Um, TP, I'm going to be using Relax. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, if you don't even do any damage. Please. 
If we somehow win, which I highly doubt, um, well, I don't know if it uses fire, I think it just uses poison. So let's just get a preemptive refresh in there. Okay, so nice didn't do any damage, so let's try fire. Yeah, see, even with our boosted defender and immunized, we still take like over 200 damage. Okay, so ice is the way to go. Um, let's use back guard. Um, boost and immunize. Probably should have revived the first. Um, yeah. Actually, Cassitis. And throw an extra 2 on. And he's there. Okay, so we can take a hit. That's good. Okay, that did like twice as much damage. That's pretty good. Self too. And boosted inside this. See if we can get that to work. And attack. Oh, yeah, sure. He still takes over 300 damage. Alright, so. Just attack, I guess. Revive. Surprised that we're taking as little damage as we are. Alright, so we're alive again. Let's see if we can get a front guard. Self to Sidus. Even defending the front one. Well, that actually reduced the damage a lot more than I thought it would. More than a boosted defender plus immunize. That's kind of surprising, really. Um, our defender wore off, so let's cast that again. Um, get a preemptive self, I guess. Oh yeah, he's gone. So yeah, you can see why you're not supposed to fight again. I hope. I hope you guys aren't dumb. 566. <laughs> But you can only kill us one at a time! I think he attacks the uh, guys in the front row and then guys in the lowest health. Oh, well, there goes our new medic. As as, yeah, I am really surprised we're lasting this long. Hey, front guard, you know, because so Chaos doesn't die. Oh, it doesn't matter. 10 TP back every turn. So yeah. Um, oh, we can save the map data. Yeah, let's do that. It doesn't use up our items for saving map data, but we get to find out that it was on that square. So yeah, what you're actually supposed to do is search its nest for a hidden passage. So, I'll meet you back over there again. Alright guys, we are in front of the wyvern's nest again. So, I'm going to see if I can find that passage that they were talking about. Assuming we can't not get to run encounters. Let's kill the fire so that works. You don't even get to cast it. That's fine. Alright, so, there we go. Get this encounter rate, it's ridiculous. Inferno! Alright, so, as you stand marveling at the jungle trees, you spot a narrow road between their trunks. Continue down the narrow road. So 
this is the secret passage. Now we can get back to mapping! I believe there's one on the other side of that wyvern, too. Um, but this is the one that you want. So. It goes up. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can... Get it to turn around. There we go. Yeah, here's one. Um, narrow road right here as well. I believe this leads to the treasure. I could actually have it backwards too, but I don't think this would go anywhere, so. Um, secret passage. And because you had to search the nest, um, and in any direction you were facing, you would have to check the nest instead of the walls, you wouldn't be able to find these, so. There you go. I'm glad we're faster than them now, because being put to sleep for like ever was just so annoying. Alright. Goes up like this. Around. Oh, okay, so maybe this is where you're supposed to go. Huh. This sort of was the other way. Stairs, stairs now. Oh. Yeah, let's take this out. There we go. So there's the entrance to the eighth floor, but we're not going to go down there just yet. That's a encore. Alright. So we'll go down there later. Okay, so that is the way you're supposed to go. Huh. Outside of its uh, nest is the best way to avoid it. Because I believe that it takes just enough steps for it to turn direction so I can't see. Now let's see if we need that ice. Alright. Yeah, see? Looks like it's trying not to look at you. Let's see what's over this way. It looks very similar to the other path. And more petaloids, of course. I wonder if we'll ever get... And then another entrance down? Okay. That's... Huh. So how do you get down to the rest? Well, let's go down here. A labyrinth for monsters. So this is the ninth floor. Um... I guess... That's not, but that is. Okay, so we feels like that. And the stairs are on the other side there. And we have more damaging floor. I wonder if I step on that and remove that, the paint comes back on. Okay. We got a new enemy here, Evaloids. I don't even want to know what they do. Let's just 
kill them all. I'm also going to try to push you to sleep, so that, like, they're immediately a lot better than the pedal lights. But two stairs down. I think one of them leads to the treasure. And this one doesn't look like it's it, because it's rather big. So we've got a thick leaf. What that gets us. I should just cast Cure 2. stairs going up. Okay. That's cool. Which means this place like that. Okay, let's go down the stairs. The wyvern's nest. So we have stairs that go down. Lots of treasure, my goodness. Well, it's ho hopefully it'll be worth it. Okay, so, like that. Treasure, treasure, and treasure. Okay, what's in this one? 
Iron plate. Dang it, we didn't need to buy one. Oh well. We can sell it or put it on somebody else. And this is 500 yen. Probably what I'd get for selling the iron plate. a bunch of useless stuff. Yeah, a bunch of useless stuff. Let's use some Amritas. We have so... I didn't mean to do that. So many of them. I don't know why I have so many. Like, I don't recall buying that much. Alright, so... Stoner. I don't care about that. Alright, so what awaits us further in the labyrinth on the 8th floor and 9th floor? Find out next time on Let's Play Etrian Odyssey 1. This has been Paladin 98, and I'll see you on the next one.